Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So today's video is going to be a good one. I'm actually going to be reviewing the new Jaclyn Hill palette. So this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the volume 2. It's Jaclyn Hill times Morphe. Actually such a nice palette and this is what it looks like on the inside. So as you can tell, it's very like colorful. One thing I would say, if you're not into colors um, and you're more into like taupes, browns, this palette probably is not for you. This is for someone who likes to play with color, but there are still some neutral colors in here. I really haven't played with this palette. I haven't tried it on my eyes. I did dab into a couple of the colors just because I wanted to see how pigmented it was, and it's really, really pigmented. Um, I actually have the old palette right here. So, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the one on the right is the new palette. The one on the left is the old um, there's really not that much of a difference except this new palette is much more colorful. I didn't really mind the first palette. I used it a couple times, but I didn't feel like the colors were all that great. I feel like this new palette is more pigmented, the colors are better, and I feel like after this video, if I do like it on my eyes, this is something I'm really going to be grabbing a lot this summer, this spring. In general, I'm just going to go for this bad boy. So let's go ahead and see how it works. So I actually haven't got an idea of what I want to do. I kind of really like these like red colors. Like these taupes, these browns are so, so pretty. This yellow is really catching my eye. Um, it would be like a really nice like inner eye corner look. So I think I'm going to go for like the red taupey color. So I'm going to go into Love Handles and Perfectionist and have that be my transition color. The one thing that really gets me about this palette, even the first palette, is it doesn't really have um, a mirror on it. So I have to use another mirror. I have to get an actual hand mirror because I use this mirror on this palette for like all of my videos. So I need to invest ahead and grabbed Love Handles and Perfectionist on my Morphe M573 brush and this is going to be my crease color. So I'm just going to lightly put that in there and it's sitting right at the top of my crease. The color is actually blending out really nicely and honestly this would be really nice for the days where you just want to throw a little nude brown on your eye just to give it more definition, this is really such a good color for that. I'm going to add some on the other eye. So one thing I noticed so far is there is no fallout while I'm blending this on my eye. However, there is fallout in the palette. Um, but I'm not really too worried about the fall on the palette. As long as there's no fallout on my eye, we're totally good. Before I start applying the shadow, I did already put concealer on and I set my eyes. So just make sure that you're doing that. I'm going to grab thick skin and a little bit of grateful and start blending that into the corners of the eyes. So I kind of think I want to make like a straight up halo. So have like uh, the dark redness on both sides and have a gold going down the middle. This gold shimmer right here, it's called Talia, is really calling my name. So I think that would look good with like the reds, browns. I don't know. We're going to see at the end of this video how everything plays out. So with that same brush, I'm grabbing Homebody and Grateful. And I don't want too much on. And I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go in and apply that. Wow, that is really pigmented, like really pigmented. I grab some thick skin. So that's what it looks like ever. <laughs> ever. Got it. This is what it looks like after grabbing thick skin. I'm just kind of like pushing it into my eye. I'm not really blending it. I'm just pushing it in. I'm going to go back in and grab Homebody, Grateful, and Thick Skin. And also dust it off and apply it to the inner part of my eye. Wow. These are so pigmented. Like, it's really crazy. How pigmented this palette is. Oh. 
I'm going to grab another blending brush. I'm going to go back into Perfectionist, which is about the first color we used. And I'm just going to like blend these two shades together. Just so it's not as harsh as it looks right now. Because it looks pretty harsh right now and we don't want harsh. So now I'm going to go in and grab Livin' My Best. I'm going to put my brush in there about twice. I'm going to hit it off. I'm going to apply it. Ooh, that's really red, isn't it? And then I'm going to go back into Perfectionist, hit it off, and just blend this out. I don't want any harsh, harsh edges. So I'm going to get a flat brush. This is like a e.l.f. brush. It doesn't even have a name on it anymore because it's like worn off. But I'm going to spray it down with my Morph Setting Spray. And I'm going to pick up Talia, which is this golden shade right here. And I'm going to try to apply that to the middle of the eye. We're going to see how that looks. Wish me luck. So I'm grabbing Talia. So I don't know if this would be better with my finger or the brush so far. It's really not showing up with my brush. So I'm going to try my finger. So I'm going to rub my finger into Talia. Oh, okay. It definitely showed up with my finger. I'm going to grab Flawed and Odd too and I'm going to mix that with Talia while I'm rubbing it on my eye just to see if it's going to give me more like of a chrome color because right now it's like really 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 gold and that's kind of not what I'm going for so I'm going to try to mix those two together. So far I really like the way that looks. It's really going with my shirt. So I'm going to try to apply an inner corner. Um, I really think I want to apply the yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the yellow. The yellow is called No Joke. And I'm going to try to apply it to my inner corner. I'm going to apply it with a Morphe M506 brush. Wow, that yellow is beaming, honey. It is beaming. So far, I'm actually really liking it. Um, I know it kind of looks weird now because I don't have makeup on. It's just my eyes and my eyebrows. But I'm going to go ahead and put everything onto my left eye. I'm going to put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Guys, so I'm back. So I applied some lashes. I actually went ahead and did my foundation and my concealer. And I set it just because I didn't want to bore you guys. With all that, again, if you want to know how I do my foundation and my concealer, look at my previous video where I go into further detail. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring all the colors from the top to the bottom of the eye. So I'm going to get like a little flat corner brush. I'm going to be taking Comfort Zone and Thick Skin. And I'm going to try to drag that down to the bottom part of my eye. I'm going to go in with the fluffier brush. This is the Morphe G14. I'm going to grab some color on it and just really try to smoke it out some more. So I'm going to go back into comfort zone and just smoke it out. See, I really like how that looks. I feel like when the line is really thin, it doesn't really stand out on the bottom as much. And I really like the bottom to stand out just as much as the top portion of my eye does. So I'm really digging this look so far. I love how the colors came out. I love how colorful this is. So I'm going to continue my face. So I'm going to bronze my face up. I'm going to be using my same Tarte palette. This is the Pro Glow palette. And I'm just going to be using the same brown colors 
Dip my brush into it. I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe 8C Cool Palette, and I'm going to be using It Girl, which is my favorite, 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 favorite blush, and I'm going to dip my brush right into that bad boy. And I know I've said this in my previous video, but I freaking love blush, and I probably use more than I should, but you know what? I don't care. And I really take it high, because I love the look that it gives. Apply some to my nose. Just draw some on my forehead. Put some on my forehead. So next I'm going to go in with some highlighter. This is my Maybelline Molten Gold or Fondue. I'm going to be grabbing my Morphe M511. Spraying it with some Mario Badescu. I'm going to be rubbing it into the pot. I just... Taking some off and applying. So I'm taking a smaller brush and just going on my brow bone just to make that pop out. So on my cupid's bow, brow bone. There's someone like driving up and down my neighborhood and they just keep honking the horn. So I don't know what's up with that. So if you hear that in the background, I'm so sorry. So I'm just going to go into some Morphe powder and I'm going to cut my cheeks. So we're just going to do this lightly. For lips, I think I want to do like a pink gloss, but I'm not really sure. But I know I'm going to outline my lips with the NYX Nude lip pencil and I really like this one because it's like the retractable one it's not like the actual pencil that I have to sharpen a million times so I'm just going to overline my lips Now I'm going to go ahead and color it in a little bit. So for gloss, I'm going to be taking the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. And oh, I can open it. I'm going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm using the... I actually don't know what it is because it's gone. But I don't think it was better than sex mascara. I forgot what this was, but it's a really good mascara. I just don't know what the name is. So I'm just going to apply some to the lower lash line. So 
So now I'm going to go ahead and just wipe the powder off because it's time for it to come off. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Morphe setting spray, open it, and we're going to bathe. And I'm going to be taking my fan and drying everything on to my face. Oh my god, I need a life. This does complete the look. I can honestly say that I really do like the palette. Um, I think the colors are very pigmented. I didn't see a lot of fallout in my eyes. The only fallout I pretty much saw was when I was applying like the golden color in the middle. Some of it did fall out, but it is a shimmery shade, so that does tend to happen. Um, I would say that this palette is not for someone who doesn't like color so if you do not like color you do not use color on your face you don't play with color do not get this palette the palette does have some nude shadows in it however i don't think it would be worth it to spend 40 dollars on a palette where you're only going to use about four out of what 30 colors overall i really like the palette i'm going to be grabbing this palette a lot more now um just because i do love color i do think this will be a good palette to invest in if you are looking for a new colorful palette I give it a thumbs up, a 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.